Hello, my name is Mary Ann Agat and I'm with Mainline Information Systems. I'm a solution consultant that has been helping um, Mainline's customers with the implementation of uh, the Z server for the Linux environment. So today we're going to talk about why IBM Z server for your on-premise cloud. It'll be a two-part session. The first one, we will talk a little bit about the IBM Z server itself. And the second one, we'll be talking about the cloud implementation on Z. So let's get started. First, I want to talk about the reliability of Z. The 99.9999% availability on the Z um, actually can be interpreted as five decades to mean time to failure. IBM has spent decades improving the architecture, the hardware architecture, with redundant components to be able to attain that type of availability on this box. Second thing I'm going to talk about is something 5.2 gigahertz speed of the core, and that's our lightning bolt here. So there is no other core in the industry that is at this speed. So IBM Z with this type of core speed provides um, extremely um, excellent performance and throughput, and we will be talking about that in a little bit. The third thing is security. Now, I'm not taking this in order of importance because security might be one of the key components here that you would be interested in. If you're implementing um, um, encryption in your environment, the IBM Z is excellent for um, your encryption uh, requirements. And as, we're going to start out with the FIPS 140-2 level 4. What it means is a tamper-proof keys. So no other server in the industry has implemented a tamper-proof server uh, for your encryption. Second, we're going to talk about EAL 5 Plus. Now that's another security uh, certification, and that is for our um, logical partitions. Our logical partitions are this EAL 5 plus, so what does that mean? It means that it is equivalent to having a physically separate server. So our logical partitions are so secure, it's as if having separate physical servers. So in one Z box, I can have 85 logical partition it, which is equivalent to having 85 separate physical servers on this box. The 2.2 times, that is the um, improved encryption speed from an x86 environment. So 2.2 times the encryption speed uh, for this, and, and not only includes the 5.2 gigahertz, but it includes the architecture that the IBM Z has, um, including a, a, a crypto processor on the chip and a separate card, a crypto card, that is, um, is completely dedicated to the uh, encryption process for your data at rest and your data in flight. Last thing when we're talking about security is something called secure service container. A secure service container is the implementation of this 140 uh, to level four encryption. So a tamper proof key environment. So um, IBM has offered appliances such as a blockchain, which requires that level of security and um, other appliances such as the IBM IDAA. Um, and that has been available uh, for a while on the IBM Z server. But we recognize that you as a customer might want to have this level of security in the secure service container. And IBM has implemented a product, software products called HyperProtect. And one of them is HyperProtect Virtual Servers. 
What that offers you is the easy way of, of deploying your containers in a secure service container and achieving this level four tamper-proof keys. So this is all built into the IBM Z. So security is a big element here for an IBM Z server. Another component is the throughput. Now we talked about the um, speed of the core, but what about the throughput? The 4.2 throughput is over um, the x86 environment. So what does that mean? It means that we can have a funnel of more than 4.2 workload through the IBM Z compared to an x86 environment. So this is some of the characteristics, certainly not all, but imagine putting all of this in your cloud on-premise and having all of these capabilities. So the IBM Z server comes in two flavors. The first one is the Linux One server. The Linux One server is a dedicated Linux-only Z server and it has all of these wonderful components of the Z. The second one is, would be a hybrid Z server, which has not only our traditional and, um, operating systems, such as ZOS, but then it also has separate LPARs that you would run your Linux on-premise cloud in. So this are the opportunity for the Z server for your cloud. So next, we will talk about the cloud environment and how it, um, the Z server is ideal for your on-premise cloud.